Panel optic disc, a rim in dark gray and the top in light gray. Certain red hair nerve fiber layer parameters, the average, superior average, and inferior average will have a color coded in comparison also to normative data. And then uh, optic disc parameters, various optic disc parameters, and the other way, the rim volume, the cap rim area ratio, the horizontal the cap disc area ratio, the horizontal well, the vertical CD ratio. Where a temporal superior nasal infratemporal graph also color coded in comparison to normative data. Nickel macular ganglion cell complex actually it has a theoretical advantage over peripapillary retinal nerve fiber layer parameters in diagnosis. Retinal ganglion cell loss occurs early in the pathogenesis of glaucoma. Up to 50% of retinal ganglion cells could be lost before visual field defects are detected. A different machines be isol ganglion cell thickness and then the art view ganglion cell complex analysis it measures the ganglion cell complex which is the ganglion cell layer, nerve fiber layer and inner plexiform layer. The spectralis uh, beyond the Heidelberg machine posterior pole asymmetry analysis it measures total retinal macular thickness where it can be an inter eye and intra eye asymmetry analysis and the serous ganglion cell analysis it measures the ganglion cell and the inner plexiform layer. I'll cover the ganglion cell complex report that I just started. A bit a ganglion cell complex thickness map, deviation map, significance map, and ganglion cell complex parameters. They are the superior average, the average, superior average, inferior average. Well, the most important is the focal loss volume, well, global loss volume. The deviation map, we have the percent loss, and the darker or the lighter, the light, or the cooler the color, the more the loss in the picture. يعني البلو بيوريني ثاني من 20 ل 30% relative للنورمال في حين الاسود بيبقى 50% او اكثر. السيجنفيكنس ماب بتشوف ستاتستيكلي بقى هل ده ديفكت سيجنفيكنت اور نوت وده كلر كودد برضه ان كومبارسن تو نورمال بقى داتا الجرين طبعا ودي نورمال رينج يعني ايه ودي نورمال رينج يعني من 5 ل 95% او ذا نورمال بوبيليشن كان هاف ذيز فاليوز الاصفر بوردر لاين ريزلتس اند ذا ريد از اوت سايد نورمال ليفلز. الارتي فيو ممكن يطلع لنا كومبايند ريبورت بتاع العينتين في الجانجلين سيل ماب اند ريتا نير فايبر لاير ماب والسيكتور اناليسيز اللي اتكلمنا عنه والجراف التمبر سبير نيزل انفر تمبر سيمتري اناليسيز والبارامترز المختلفه سواء للنير فايبر لاير سيل اوبتيك نيرف هاد او للجانجلين سيل كومبلكس في ستادي عملناها طبعا تحت اشراف استاذتي الفضائيه الدكتوره زينب السنباري ودكتور كريم عادي واستاذ الدكتور كريم عادي واستاذ الدكتور محمد حسب الله عن diagnostic value of the macular ganglion cell complex measurement using spectral domain of CT for glaucoma. والحقيقه لقينا انه they are comparable in ganglion cell complex with nerve fiber layer are quite comparable for results. However, nerve fiber layer had slightly higher diagnostic value for diagnosing early to moderate glaucoma. ولكن the difference was not statistically significant. Uh, study developed a predictive, the study developed a predictive model using a pattern standard deviation with global loss volume. استخدام الموديل ده it gave the best diagnostic accuracy accuracy then in nerve fiber layer أو ganglion cell complex ولكن وأيضا the difference دي كانت statistically significant استخدام certain equation نقدر نعمل the probability value بتاع الجروب وده the rock curve بتاع ال predictive model كان دي sensitivity 100 specificity 90.2 وإدينا نطلع cut off values سواء لي سواء لل average ganglion nerve fiber and mean deviation. زي ما قلنا ده اكزامبل للكومبايند اوبتيك نيرف هاند اند جانجلين سيل كومبلكس ريبورت اوف ا نورمال كنترول مفيش اي ابنورماليتيز ماك. This is a combined also report of a glaucoma suspect, a suspect or pre perimetric glaucoma with normal field. ونلاحظ in the right eye focal affection of the ganglion cell complex and focal affection في the infratemporal sector of the optic nerve head. وفي left eye also focal affection في ganglion cell complex ماك despite the parameters being normal. Another glaucoma suspect in the right eye focal ganglion cell complex affection. Let me enter on parameters bad. However, in the left eye, the ganglion cell complex affection affected the average, superior, and the global loss volume parameters. And the nerve fiber layer affected in the right eye with affection of the parameters superior average. Will again be confirmed that these patients have normal fields. Another glaucoma suspect with normal fields, with marked affection of the ganglion cell complex and marked affection of the parameters in both eyes, and uh, 
the moderate affection, borderline affection of the nerve fiber layer. Uh, this was an exception of a patient that we met that had affection in the nerve fiber layer, one of the quadrants of sectors, despite having normal ganglion cell complex parameters. Uh, glaucoma cases, early glaucoma cases, having uh, early defect in uh, an arcuate scotoma with uh, inferior nerve fiber layer affection or ganglion cell complex affection, and the uh, early nasal step with ganglion cell complex affection with normal nerve fiber layer. Another glaucoma case, the study did not include this eye and it had advanced glaucoma and advanced affection in the visual field. We have the right eye with an early upper upper scotoma and nerve fiber layer affection with affection of the parameters and ganglion cell complex affection with borderline inferior and global loss volume parameters. Another case with focal ganglion cell complex affection uh, were affection of the some of the parameters borderline affection the left eye. One of the main benefits of ocular imaging is the ability to generate reproducible quantitative measurements compared over time for an individual subject to determine if the disease is progressing or if treatment is adequate. In OCT tell a progression, but at least three uh, uh, sessions are needed or three progression or three uh, that one of the machines they have a progression analysis, but adding nerve fiber layer thickness map with them on the brighter colors, hot spots, with the muscle areas of thinning. With the thickness change map, we have a certain graph with a summary in the hair layering. Another machine with the same principle with a slight uh, difference. The graphs with that, the has a visit the eye, and they have a normal based on the overlapping with conclusion. The parameters, so I've got a nerve head, so I've got a nerve fiber layer. Uh, one conclusion that I mean, color coded as you are in comparison to the other normative data. Mish best in nerve fiber layer, our optic had a progression. Like I mean, ganglion cell complex has progression analysis for some machines, uh, at least also three visits, and we were in a color coded in progression. They might not last in here. This is the uh, deviation map. اللي قلنا فيها انه اللون الازرق او الاسود لما يزيد this is worse والعكس هنا ال brighter colors زي الاحمر او الاصفر هي دي ال outside in normal values or borderline وبتبقى color coded وال parameter tables كمان color coded knows that the patient this patient مثلا is worse me another example of ganglion cell complex progression analysis so OCT analysis the detection of disc nerve fiber layer and ganglion cell loss before visual field uh, becomes significant, the Haladi, the Haladi pre perimetric glaucoma, will be a correlation of glaucoma disease pattern command with the field for perimetric glaucomas. We can have an fast anatomy of the retina to arena of fast imaging of the lamina fibrosis. The future of the OCT is coming to Sura, increasing the speed, the penetration, and the resolution as well. Uh, Doppler for your domain OCT, the dual circulation scan OCT, Doppler retinal blood flow measurement technology is now Yani Futareha. Retinal perfusion is integrated over two seconds, with flow direction relative to the OCT beam is measured by two parallel cross sections. The dynamic double circular scan transecting all retinal branch vessels six times per second. Uh, the latest way technologies that are uh, on their way in market will look for head of early diagnosis of glaucoma up to physiology may allow functional glaucoma assessment through measurement of changes in reflectance of retinal tissue when exposed to light. Command progress is being made toward measurement of other ocular flow parameters, say measurement of blood flow in the scleral vessels or aqueous flow in Schlem's canal and collector channels. Understanding the oxygen content vessels Z may be very important. Is there even near infrared wavelengths? The near Osman for spectral domain OCT may be useful for spectroscopy and oximetry. The sweat source OCT, the another four-year domain OCT, here is spectral domain OCT, will be extremely different from the method used to rapidly acquire data, much faster and much less expensive and complex. Beyond the high transverse resolution. With a uh, very relevant visualizing fine transverse details such as axons, blood vessels, or perhaps yani, individual cells. High transverse scan density also allows for greater scan averaging for signal to noise ratio importance. 
and the new enhanced depth imaging OCT uh, is able to visualize deep optic nerve complex, lower optic nerve head or peripapillary area, deep optic